And I actually kind of love this series, actually. And, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. There we go. Up. Oh. All right. Order. I'm at the debut. I'm currently at the debut area. I am. Nope. Oh, don't do it. No. Gotta make it perfect. Perfect. Whoa. I gotta make it perfect, perfect. Whoa, that. I can't believe it. Gotta make it perfect, you perfect. Perfect, you perfect. It. Copy. Copy. Say. Say, we gotta make it perfect. You're perfect. Gotta make it perfect. Perfect. Alright, here we go. We are starting up with this. Alright. She was the one with the coral, right? No. No, oh, then I have no idea who she is. You two got the eggs, the egg taken by an aerodactyl. Um, it was Smeargle. He's the one who painted the egg. But let's let's remember that fact, people. So, in short, it's Smeargle's fault. Hey, Teddy Ursa, you were there, so thereby you must share the blame. Well, let's go get that egg back from that prehistoric freak, right? Yeah, yeah. Wait, guys, guys, I'm stuck. My my silk. Okay, just leave me. I know how it is. Besides, I'll seek revenge when I evolve. You know, you've seen her. <laughs> yeah, it is up there. Aerodactyl, Aerodactyl, Aerodactyl. Oh, so her egg is one of those like six or so. Well, that totally narrows it down. Okay, anyone gonna go up there? Wingle, you can fly. So it can cast warm, but you fly faster. Just go try to, like, get it from her, talk to her or something. Um, okay. Cool. 
Yeah, let's see how he can do this. Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl. Um, hi, Miss Aerodactyl. My name is Wingle. Aerodactyl. Okay. Now, you see, one of those eggs isn't really yours. If you kind of, like, pour water on it, you'll see that the paint comes off, revealing it to be a light blue egg. So, can you please just give us back our egg back? Because we kind of have this challenge we have to win. And okay, he's talking. He's talking. He's roaring. He's eating him. Well, only once. Ah! What's wrong, love? Talk. High score! High score! High score! High score! Oh, he's like this guy. But you need high score, high score, high score. <laughs> Wait, this guy's wind crazy right now. Oh, so what do you suggest we do? We go beat up the boss, of course, to get the prize. Right, 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 right. Larvitar, why do you do this? <laughs> high score, high score, high score. He's right. Let's go beat up that boss. Or in this case, an Aerodactyl. Charge! So this is the end. Eaten by an Aerodactyl. <laughs> I can't believe it's come to this. Yeah! What am I doing here? Oh, now you're back to normal. Well, we're all circling the egg conveniently. You know, I really thought this was work. This is usually what happens when something needs to happen. All the characters around it just circles it. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hmm. It's seriously not hatching, guys. Wait, wait, what's this? Oh my goodness, it's hatching. It's hatching. It's... <gasps> Tauros, it's a baby girl. Phoebus. That's a girl? <laughs> it's a baby female Phoebus. Do you know what this means? Yep. Welcome to the world, Oomph. We are not naming it Oomph. Okay, fine. Welcome to the world, Phoebus. You could have had a unique name, but no. Your mommy just wants a regular Phoebus. Wait, it's a baby. Yeah, you can't stay an egg forever. Wait, I want eggs. I've lost interest. Well, bye! Well, I don't care how rude she is. We have a baby girl now! Phoebus. <laughs> mm -hmm. You guys have fun with that, okay? Oh my god, I love to see you so much! We were the only survivors. What do you mean? They're still fighting up there. We kind of just took the egg. How did the paint come off again? All the sweat and drool from that aerodactyl. Call her off so we could get the right egg. The point is, I think, while everyone else is distracting the beast, we can hatch. Yada yada. Wait, look. It's hatching right now. It's a Riolu. It's so cute. Ah! What the? That brat punched me in the nose! <laughs> oh, I think he bent it. I think he bent it. Get that brat. Get that brat. Throw him in the orphanage where he belongs. There's a reason why your mother abandoned you. No, wait. I, I am your I hatched you. Oh. I'm sorry. Huh? He can talk already? I'm sorry, father, that I injured your friend. I had no idea. Father? You said you hatched me. And so by theory, you're my adopted father, because obviously you look nothing like me, so you're obviously my adopted father. Aha. Uh -huh. Are you here wise? You mind? What no? Let me be the new Ezra. I do it in all the years, so I expect to come in first from the BC time. Oh yeah, which one's the main one? Which one are the concubines? Oh funny thing you should know about concubines is that only way possible um no i'm i'm just a teenager i don't have wives what about your friend over there um yeah he's just a friend i'm not getting near that brat i think my nose has a bent excuse me for using combat on your friend i had no idea like i said earlier aerodactyl aerodactyl hi i'm an aerodactyl nice to meet you it seems that we are now surrounded. Yep. We kind of outnumbered them, but Big Mama's up there. Run! Ha! Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl. 
it seems that they do not want to talk to us, brothers. So, uh, that's your baby? Uh-huh. Are you proud? Yes. Phoebus. Yeah, her name's Oom. No, it's not. Fine. It's not Oom. Happy? <laughs> Are you kidding me? We lost. Yep. And you guys have a Riolu on your team, and the Magikars have a Phoebus. The point is the Polito to lose. Lose. I'm a bit confused, Father. I'll explain later. Hi, my name's Cotton Yee. Are you a baby? Technically, yes. Mentally, probably not. Oh, I don't like babies. Okay. Point is elimination time, guys. That baby's disgusting. Have you heard her voice? In what way is that remotely feminine? Now that I'm a mother, I need to focus more on my child. Alright! college. Not... The bomb boy! Ow! Uh, oh no! Hello, you two that have joined the stream. The money isn't just for us now, it's for our child, Phoebus. I'm so proud. You see, when I was younger, my father was a very terrible father. But I'll be a good father to my daughter. I'll treat her right and with respect. I can't wait to watch her grow up. I'm tearing up right now. Little oomph. <laughs> I can't wait to say. Sh I can't wait till she says her first word other than Phoebus. <laughs> this is fair. The match card get the ugly duckling who can only say its name, and the Politos get a fully potty trained and English speaking fighting Riolu. This is totally fair, right, you? Totally and utterly fair. I'm personally happy about the new contestants. I'm not the youngest one anymore. So now they can't, like, look down on me and give me all the crappy jobs and challenges or, you know, give me excuses. I'm not the youngest anymore. Hmm. I'm gonna try to be a good father. I mean, he's obviously a lot more athletic than I am, so I'm probably gonna have to do a lot more of that stuff. Mm -hmm. and that sounds like a really big drag right now. But yeah, I'm a father now. Time to learn some responsibility. Yeah. Yeah. But more important, most importantly, I want to teach him to be a gamer and a sports guy, because that would be the best son ever. Yeah. And it was kind of... I still gotta kind of teach him, because he is talking like an old BC Chinese person. It has seemed that this reality television show is a good way to prove my skills now that I've been born 20 minutes now. By the way, my 20th 20 minute birthday, hooray. The point is that it seems I'm surrounded by very tough competition, but it's obvious because I can see into their aura that many of them are not very true to what, you know, they claim to be. Most importantly, that one bug from the other team, he seems to have a distressing aura, like a yin and yang. The point is, at the moment, Father is trying to teach me to be a gamer. And I will do anything my father says, because I will show loyalty and eventually be the heir to his kingdom. Whatever kingdom he may own. Okay, Polytoads. Wow, okay. Two, day, okay, two, two days. Yeah, two days in a row. No, wait, Lily got eliminated. Dang it. 
I'm still stuck on the fact that Chimchar was supposed to go out. Hi! What? What'd you say? Hi! I'm trying to be more like that cool girl, Katani. Oh, don't even bother. The point is, the first Ordberry obviously goes to Riolu, because you can't vote for him, because like in the Fossil Challenge, they're automatically safe. Okay, now the rest go to Larvitar, Castform, Wingle, Cyndaquil, Roggenrola, Happy Heat, Eat more. There we go. Okay. Pichu. Chimchar. Weasel. Uh. Crap. Torkoal. Lillipop. Chikorita. No. Mareep. Cascoon. Uh, Goldex, oh. <laughs> Eevee, Charmander, and Squirtle. The final two. Okay, if Smeargle seriously got this, got me eliminated, I am totally deleting the whole idea of being acquaintances with him. No, no. Oh, am I kidding? I had a good run. It's obvious they all hate me right now. I blame Frostlass. And the final Lauren Mary goes to Teddy Ursa. Smeargle, you have been eliminated. Oh wow, well, I am so shocked by the fact that I failed the challenge and that everyone on my team hates me and it's all Frostlass's fault. Yeah, I highly doubt it's her fault. To the duck of shame. Yeah, I didn't really like Magmar ever anyways. He was always just my model. But then again, how can a model betray the artist? How can this do. happen to anyone? How can this... Wait, mm -hmm. before you make your boring, dramatic goodbyes... Remember, kids, don't ask if you can join, because Hangouts yeah. isn't here anymore. Boring. So I'm using OBS now. Uh, realize, realize that, people. This is not Hangouts, this is OBS. Uh... And no, you cannot join the Discord chat. Only it's friends. And trap. we're not it's friends, people. It's a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. Uh. Ooh, eggs. Ah, it's a trap. Well, uh, uh, um, okay. Look at the TPM. Our members are slowly shrinking, as in by what I'm saying is grow bio is completely useless now. Uh, is he still sad about Lily? I guess so. So the only way to improve in our alliance, I have decided to add a member. Whoa, 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 pretty gun. You do realize you're not really in the alliance. In fact, I don't, I'm, the only reason we're keeping you around is we kind of feel bad for you and all, because, you know, Porygon left you here and all. Well, besides that, I'm, so, I'm clearly the only one useful in this whole group. Gee, thanks. So, and to improve strength in numbers, I've decided to add a member who, behold, Patil, my love. Oh, you got to be kidding me. He may be okay. a stalker and completely useless. All right, we're finished. Let's move on now. We do need an extra vote. And besides, all I had to do was tell him Patil's in the Alliance since he already knew. Besides, since he knows about the Alliance anyways, it's better that he's here anyways. Well, I guess so, but I hate him. Huh? Well, Swallow and Grovile hate each other. You're just gonna have to get used to it. He's got you there, Ivysaur. <laughs> but to my love, isn't this great? I can see you every day now. There's my pepper spray. I can't Here we go. Pre-Gon got drowsy in my life. <coughs> He's so annoying, and now I have to see him every... Well, I already saw him every day because he kept following me. I still don't know what's wrong with Patil, but I do know she probably doesn't really like me. All I know is something wrong there. Ugh, oh well, I guess he's kind of right. We might need the vote. But don't tell him I said he was right. He's just like Porygon. It won't help his ego anymore. I honestly don't care that Drowsy's in the Alliance that much. I mean, he doesn't really like bother me personally. 
so doesn't really affect me. The point is, all I care is that I'm in alliance and we have some votes, and since I'm in that already, I'm okay. Problem is, I just don't want any of this triangle crap from Patel, Ivasaur, and Drowsy, so if any of that starts, I definitely need a backup plan. Mm. Now that I'm in that foolish alliance, I can get Patel to fall in love with me! It is going to be that easy, because I know deep down inside she truly does love me. So all I have to do is now, well, hang out with her instead of just following her. That ought to get her to like me. Oh, we're gonna be such a cute couple when she finally Disgusting. falls in love with me. I can't wait. Okay, guys. I don't know what to say for this alliance meeting. Yeah. <laughs> Is that it? Why, um, Evie, is there something wrong? It's just that that was like the shortest meeting ever and we didn't talk about anything. Well, there's just nothing to talk about. There's like, okay, fine, we need a target. Um, I don't know, Emor? Well, why? I don't, he did good in episode 12. Uh-huh. Well, he's still kind of lost. Okay, the point is, he did good in one challenge, so that makes him a threat. Okay, there. Happy? Uh... He has right. backup alliance with mm, Marathas and Weasel, so awkward for me. I mean, no the whole, this whole charade that this whole girls' alliance thing is still together. Well, the point is, we aren't together anymore. Secretly, everything is slowly breaking, nothing's right anymore, and well... This alliance is probably not going to last long. <sighs> I can't, I just really hope none of them find out real quick. Chikorita is getting kind of nervous about this whole backup alliance thing. I kind of am too. I mean, it is kind of hard to lie to all these people. Literally lie to them. Like, I mean, we're talking like we're still in one alliance when that's probably not going to be true for much longer. I mean... We can't stay a huge group forever, right? <laughs> Am I doing the right Am I even... Okay, I'm probably not doing the right thing for doing this whole back of lives thing. But I'm doing the right thing when it comes from a game point strategy. So I'm just gonna go with that right now. Mm, right. This go. girl's lines is so go awkward. This one. I mean, it's totally like the way. The only way I can think of is make up a back of the line before anyone else does. The second I do that, uh, yeah. Okay. Bye. Sucks on ice cubes. Oh, everybody run in a cube! Even when this whole ghost thing breaks apart. The point is, I need to take Pichu with me for two reasons. One, I need her vote. And two, she's, um, a friend. I know she's kind of weird, creepy, but she's still a friend, I guess. Like, she's really nice enough, even though, like I said, she's a bit creepy. But the point is, I'm gonna, I need a backup alliance, and I'm gonna need her help, too. Okay, you why like to drag me here, and thanks for the tea. Future, we need to split apart from the ghost lines, but we have the numbers advantage. Exactly. No one's gonna trust each other much longer. Oh, 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 I forgot about Jaden. I guess you're kind of right. The point is, we need a break away before anyone else does, so we'll have the advantage the second the whole thing falls apart. Okay, Evie, I'm your friend, so I'm gonna have to stick with you. 
Good. The point is the two of us can't make our own lunch. We're gonna need more but help, but from who? Okay, Torkoal? Okay, we gotta break apart from Squirtle and Charmander. <laughs> Why? Isn't it obvious this whole alliance thing isn't gonna work much longer? I wanna work Anyways, he's still one less by the way. The point is, Squirtle is super suspicious and Charmander's obviously too close of friends with him. So, <laughs> we're just supposed to betray them? Excuse me? Huh? Oh, uh, hi. You're breaking apart and you have an alliance? Well, um, it, yeah, but you can't, um... <laughs> We're breaking apart from an alliance we're in. Um, you need more members? <laughs> Interesting. Well, thanks, Chicha. We finally built a crib. You're welcome. Hey, I helped. Yeah, barely. Well, the point is, I'm just happy to help the baby. Phoebus. Uh, that's... <coughs> a cute baby there. Thanks. Her name is Phoebus. Well, legally... But I still think her name should be Toro, so we are not naming her Oomph. Well, at least you set up this whole nursery thing for her. I'm sure she'll like it. Yeah. And besides, I can't wait for her first words other than that. They always say they grow up so fast. It's kind of weird that we're going to lose all fully grown already, and she's technically a baby. Well, yeah, I don't mind. I want to take care of her right now. Well... We're off for a stroll, okay? Okay, we'll just stay here at the crib. Okay, Molefile is still here, everyone here. Okay, great. Now, uh, yeah, what about the Here's the girl's lines thing you've got me in, yeah. And have Edie in as well, uh-huh. Yeah, the whole thing is kind of shattering. What do you mean? Well, I'm pretty sure a couple of members are Planning on going rogue. Planning on going rogue? Why would they do that? Well, isn't it obvious? They obviously think they're too big of an alliance and they're easy to turn on now. Oh, my favorite color is brown. That's nice, Tim Char. I still don't get why he has so much free will. I don't either. They put it as kind of freaking me out now. I am under your control. The point is, things are getting deeper in the game, and all these alliances are getting quite confusing. Jim Charles from Heatmore's Alliance, right? Oh, yes, that's very, that's very strange, because I have to remember something. Heatmore is making his own little alliance thing with Eevee, Pichu, and Torgo. And so I guess Jim Char is going to be part of that now. Good catch, Hamaru. And we still probably a bit... Antropius' alliance pretty much probably missing Happini and Totodile so now. Alright, you know, I'm just gonna change, change a lot, how it looks. The point is, a lot of these alliances are about to break. So, keep your eyes open for anyone in this group going rogue. Do you not trust us? Yes. Who? Okay, sir. I'll watch in case anyone decides to go rogue. <laughs> I can't be like, I can't be one to stay with us forever. That's one thing I don't mind saying. The problem is I'm still stuck here in Benepeed's body. But the whole idea of going rogue sounds good right now. Hmm. Okay, you stupid, and stupid number two. I brought you out here in the middle of the darker parts of the forest. Wait, I think we should go rogue. Brr, that's my favorite letter. Right next to Q. Okay, so Chimchar's in. What about you, Lucky Duck? Gee, I, I don't know, um, Hamaru. It just seems like Sableye has been such a nice leader so far, and he's so smart and he can totally lead us to the end. I'll give you a box of donuts after this whole thing's over. <gasps> okay, Licky Tug, it's time to go rogue! Yes, okay, perfect. But the point is, we can't just stay here forever. I think we should make our numbers bigger. Okay, well, can we try that? Okay. 
Okay, so we're waiting for Chimchar. Yeah, I think he should be here. <laughs> <Good call. laughs> That's there really we go. Lose. So, ladies, how's it going? Oh, it's just going okay, you know. Oh, there you are, Chimchar and Lucy Tom and Venipede. Um, <laughs> I'm Venipede, okay. Um, And I decided I wanted to go rogue from Tropius and join. Wait, why would you and Licky Tongue want to join our line? Aren't you guys on the other team? <sighs> well, currently, but you never know. Alright. That's all I'm gonna do. See you guys later. See you guys, um, whatever we do next. So, uh, peace out. Uh, have a good life. <coughs> and, uh, uh, See you guys in the next video. Yeah. Oh wait, wait. Yeah.